When dating a person, what methods do you use in order to say that a person is a narcissist? Are there any hints to know if a person is a narcissist? I'm going to share 10 red flags of a suspected narcissist. 10. Sexually attracted to you. Are you a party goer or a bar goer? If you are, how many of the opposite sex have you encountered in the bar or at the party? Have you noticed how they look at you? If you do, how do you respond when they look? You know, this is one of the signs that a person may be a narcissist. They are easily attracted to you because of your looks and body. With this setting, are you still gonna entertain them? If you do, better check on yourself because that person may be a narcissist and you might regret it in the future. Are you willing to bet on the person that is sexually attracted to you? Or would you rather choose someone decent? Choose wisely. 9. Idealization Narcissists are often successful people. They are also good-looking and multi-talented. People often idolize them as the person they dream for. But as they idealize them more, they have no clue that they are suspected to be narcissists. Too much idealization can be alarming, especially if you only see the outer image and positive side of the individual. Do you realize the partner you dreamed of being with? Is he or she close to perfect? If he or she is, you must be wary of his or her movements. For this is one of the red flags of a suspected narcissist. 8. Too much familiarity Did you grow up in a family with narcissistic parents? How did you endure the environment you had during your childhood? Being too familiar is common in suspecting a person to be a narcissist. You will notice their movements are the same with your narcissistic parents. Upon checking, are you seeing the same actions in the one you are dating right now? This attraction can happen beneath the consciousness, and that is what we call chemistry. So does your partner have the same actions as your narcissistic parents or siblings? Be careful. 7. Gaslighting Have you experienced being manipulated? If you did, how were you manipulated? Have you ever heard of the term gaslighting? This is a form of manipulation by psychological abuse in feeding the victim harsh words to make them doubt themselves. This too is considered a red flag for a person to be suspected as a narcissist. Narcissists tend to feed people with negative words in order to make them believe that they are not worth it. If you are dating someone today, and if you suspect them to be a narcissist, you better watch yourself all the time. Now, have you seen this type of behavior in your friends and family? Are you also seeing someone whose actions are giving off gaslighting? 6. Trying to seduce you Since narcissists are good at manipulating people, they are also good at seducing. Narcissists' sex appeal is also attractive and because of that, most people, especially empaths, easily fall for the narcissist. This is because we think that they are good listeners and communicators to allure you with flattery. So since they are trying to seduce you, it's high time that you should be careful around them. Are you seeing someone today? Is he or she good at seducing you to make you do something you don't want? Remember, this is also a red flag in identifying them to be narcissists. 5. Moving too quickly The majority of healthy relationships begin with a flurry of strong emotions and passionate gestures. This is perfectly normal, yet it blurs the line between a true and armored person and a narcissist. The difference can be seen in how quickly a relationship develops. Narcissists move quickly 
intending to catch you off guard before you have time to think about and examine them thoroughly. It's almost as if you're under pressure to act quickly to prevent incurring a further fine. When you exert pressure and move at breakneck speed, you barely have time to think. During the first several months, keep a lookout for anyone who suggests marriage or love. Are you noticing the movements of your partner or friends moving too quickly? 4. They don't have close friends. The bulk of narcissists do not have any active, meaningful friendships. They might have a few old friends or casual acquaintances with whom they get together on occasion. True friends, on the other hand, are outside the narcissist's comfort zone. Their inability to keep the mask on for an extended amount of time is the reason for this. Friendship entails both giving and receiving and the narcissist only knows how to receive. You'll notice that the person doesn't have any close friends because they are too secretive to open up to anyone. So does your partner have any close friends who you can say that they trusted? If there's none, they are proven to be a narcissist. 3. Giving the what are we dance In most partnerships, you get to a point where you are ready to declare your independence. You can refer to yourselves as boyfriend and girlfriend, lovers, companions, or whatever you wish. A narcissist may want you to act like your partner, demand sexual exclusivity, for example, but they're afraid of missing out on someone who can give them more of what they want. If your partner tells you that you're the one, but refuses to make the relationship official or postpones your coming out jointly, this is a red flag. Have you tried asking the statement, What are we? And they gave you the cold shoulder? That is because they do not want commitment. 2. Little to no sense of humor while it's fine to open up to your new love interest about your flaws and fantasize about the future, be skeptical if they can't joke about their own and yours. Common experiences of things going wrong, such as previous relationships, the unexpected, or plain discomfort are used to create jokes. Who can you confide in if you can't express your feelings to your partner? A narcissist, on the other hand, is uninterested in seeing yours or their flaws. They are perfect, and they expect the same from you. It's time to consider why you're not laughing in your relationship. 1. They really need you It's great to feel needed, especially if you're an empathetic person, the narcissist ideal spouse. But be aware if you feel you're being exploited to improve the other person's self-esteem. Be aware if they are envious of your prior relationship sexually, as this is a common trait among domestic abusers. Their boldness is influenced by their low self-esteem. People who are comfortable in their own skin do not put their worth in the hands of others. Self-assurance is a mental state. Remember. They only need you because they don't have anyone to manipulate other than you. So have you figured out what type of person you are dating? Can you say that he or she is a narcissist? If he or she is a narcissist, better plan your way out as fast as you can. What aspects of narcissistic relationship interest you the most? Do you have topics you want us to cover? Tell us in the comments below.